three wise men. Well, we're going to draw three wise men today. The Bible never says how many wise men there were, but we're going to draw three, starting with a triangle with a circle on top. Here's a smaller triangle. I think that's called an isosceles triangle. Let's draw a little crown, some details on his face, and this is going to be his arm and his hand holding a little chest of gold. That was what the first wise man brought to the baby Jesus. Now let's do our second one, just the same triangle again, with a circle on top. The nice thing about drawing three of these is you get lots of practice. There's his hand. He's carrying a, a little chest of uh, frankincense, which was incense used by the priests back then which kind of represents Jesus' priestly function. And here's our third guy. Again, we get to practice. We got a crown. Let's give him a mustache and his arm. He's holding a little vat of myrrh, which was kind of a gummy substance, which was used for medicine and oddly enough for embalming. Let's uh, color these guys. When I'm drawing royalty, especially back in this time period, I use a lot of purple. You'll see purple was actually the most expensive dye back then. Um, and so if I'm drawing a king or somebody of great wealth, I often put him in uh, a little bit of purple. This guy we're going to do green though. Let's make him green and color his little that there. Let's add some background, maybe the words Merry Christmas, if you're going to turn this into a real simple Christmas card. Add the star that the wise men followed all the way from what is now Iraq to find the baby, and you've got a nice Merry Christmas Christmas card. 